use inspiration don't be hard on yourself Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. That simply means may peace and blessings be upon you. Yes, you, my friend. I wish you nothing but peace. Welcome to Abdi Malik Reacts. Yes, today we are reacting to a video titled 14 Band Gadgets You Still Can Buy on Amazon. Yes, uh, very excited for this video because I've been wanting to start reacting to videos that are not nasheeds. Nasheeds are Islamic songs, basically. But uh, now I'm expanding my reaction videos to uh, more than that. So, with that being said, let's get into this video. But before we do that, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are not already a subscriber. I'm pretty excited for this. Will I be buying some of the things in here? Hmm, we'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get into the video. That is pretty cool, the license plate changing, that's pretty cool. A fascinating statistic. The global laptop market exceeded 268 million units by the end of 2021. That's why manufacturers of various devices are coming out with some very interesting products, such as these flash drives. They're designed to quickly and safely erase all data from hard drives. The manufacturers promise military-grade wipe and ease of use. The f Why would you ever want that? Unless you're doing something suspicious, something, I don't know, you shouldn't be doing. So, that's, that's interesting. Flash drive will come in handy in a variety of situations. For example, if you're selling your laptop and, naturally, want to erase the information. Facts, facts. Now I have uh, three, no, actually four different computers laptops and desktops that I have been holding on to because they crashed and the uh, hard drive is still in there and I don't know uh, I haven't had the time to go and delete everything on the hard drive so something like this might come in handy I guess Understanding how it works is easy thanks to a two-minute long video tutorial. The device is compatible with most PCs and laptops produced after 2000 and costs a modest $47. $47 for that? That's not too expensive, I think. For this one, would I buy it? Nah, probably not. I don't know. I'll I'll probably just end up keeping the hard drive and selling the thing as a scrap. But that's that's interesting though. Do you know how fast credit card fraudsters can operate? Once in the United States, a couple of thieves needed only a few seconds to pull it off. One distracted a storekeeper while the other placed a skimmer. Uh What? Did you see that? Pull it off. One distracted a storekeeper while the other placed a skimmer on the payment terminal. Wow. This way they obtain data to clone credit cards. In addition, key cards are also of interest to many criminals, such as those used in factories and large companies. Their data can be gathered with this are device from a distance of up to 3.3 feet, depending on the card. There are a lot of options for data capture and the only limit is your imagination," notes one review. Fortunately, it doesn't wow. work with bank cards, which is why it's modestly priced at around $100. That is crazy, wallahi. Oh my god. Huh. What you see on your screen looks like a good old phone with buttons. An attempt at nostalgia marketing? Well, no. This is another gadget for lovers of hacking, independence, and anonymity. Huh. This phone is compact and lightweight. It weighs only three ounces. However, inside it hides some very interesting features. Huh. Firstly, you can make calls without a SIM card. Just get an SIP account on any suitable platform. Connect to a Wi-Fi network and talk as much as you want. And secondly, the phone uses a very versatile daughter board. It can be expanded and turned into a music studio or an RC car. The phone has enough battery life for up to eight hours of talk time. That is actually pretty cool. 
Again, I would not buy it, but still, that's pretty cool and the uh, gadget. So programmable. The price starts at ninety dollars, and that's pretty cheap. Again, I don't know if it's cheap, cheap, but that's still interesting. I love it. Huh? I'm not gonna buy it though. Have you lost your keys and you need to open the door in a hurry? The mm -hmm. lock is jammed and won't open. With mm -hmm. patience, some practice and a tool like this, these problems can be easily solved, the manufacturer assures us. After all, you are looking at their most successful electric lock pick. The model has a 2900 milliamp hour battery. Enough okay. for two hours of continuous operation. The lockpick weighs about 12.3 ounces and fits easily in your pocket. The additional needles help you practice because the manufacturer claims that this is a professional tool whose potential is revealed through training. We don't consider the opening of Chinese locks made of plastic real lock picking, they add. The price is $270. Oof, that's a little pricey. It would come in handy though when you either locked yourself out or lost your key. I think something like this would come in handy. Uh, I still don't think I would not buy this though. The Swiss Army Knife for Geeks reads one review. This gadget reminds <laughs> us of a video review. game console, but there's nothing childish about it because it allows you to Control smart home systems, as well as gates and barriers at a distance of about 160 How? feet. Register, store and emulate touch memory keys. Work with EM4100 and HID Prox key cards, and control TVs and air conditioners. But what? this is not the full list of its features. In addition, the gadget's designed for everyday use, supports micro SD cards up to 64 gigabytes, and works for up to a week on a single charge. The price starts Whoa. at 100 19 dollars whoa that uh uh now this sounds like unreal stuff i it sounds unreal it really does sound unreal uh huh mm, i still would not buy it but it still sound that sounds unreal you can control tv uh key cards and even g gates mm, i don't know interesting and play game Our in compilation it. continues with a solution that could be used in a wide range of venues, from concert halls to classrooms. This device is known as a jammer, and it generates white noise, a signal that contains no information. Depending on huh. the version, jammers can block GPS, GSM, 3G, and Wi-Fi signals. In addition, Ooh. this device can be built at home. And for what? those who are not sure that they can make it, there are production models for the civilian market. One of the Chinese websites offers them for about $30. Interesting. Wow, that, that's that. Now that should not be allowed in certain places. Like certain Here we have a have curious it. watch that reminds us of bombs and detonators from Hollywood movies. It has all the usual functions of a smartwatch, with custom firmware, games, and other content available. However, hmm. the most interesting feature is the ability to check how well protected the available Wi-Fi networks are. For example, the watch allows you to simulate a hacker attack. First, you need to search for available Wi-Fi hotspots. Once you have selected the access point, you can disconnect all devices from it and create a bunch of evil twin fake access points. Plus, you can operate the what? watch from the computer without even taking it off your wrist or out of your pocket. The price is $50. Interesting. Our selection wouldn't be complete without some hidden cameras, right? Ooh. They're getting smaller and more okay. affordable every day. These spy glasses cost around $40. And as a bonus, the seller gives you a 16 gigabyte memory card. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Enough to record 10 hours of video. This is. But what's the quality of the video, though? It's pointless if, in, if it's 10 hours, but the quality is horrible. You know what I mean? But still, this is interesting. I This is m something that I maybe would buy it, especially when I'm traveling overseas uh, to places where 
people kind of uh, look you weird or they just don't want you to record things uh, at a public place or whatever, you could use something like this to capture uh, maybe some pictures or whatever of the place, Just I guess. inside the glass is capable of recording at 1920 by 1080 pixels and Ooh. 30 frames per second. That's glasses, not bad. That is really not bad. Film in AVI and automatically cut the video into 10 minute fragments. The approximate That's weight cool. of the glasses is 1.2 ounces and a charge lasts 50 minutes. The yeah, gadget is compatible with Windows minutes. and Linux and the manufacturer is sure that it will also be useful as a dash cam or as a baby monitor. Uh. Need an even more compact option? Check out this camera hidden in a tie clip. The video resolution is 640 by 480 pixels and the viewing angle is about 60 degrees. Durability is mm. also a priority. That's why the gadget works in temperatures ranging from 140 to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit Goodness. and 90% humidity. The neutral design is suitable for both men and women. The manufacturer suggests using the device in wireless mode or combining it with portable dash cams. There are several series available on their website. The price is higher than that of the spy glasses, $200. Oof, no, I'm good. This laser pointer reminds us a bit of the war between the Jedi and the Sith, especially since it could be quite dangerous in the wrong hands. It is powerful enough to burn a hole in a folded yoga mat or a shirt, so many reviews oh. point out that it's not a toy and should be handled with great care. The seller writes that it's a product for hunting, hiking and stage lighting with a range of about 5 to 6 miles. For example, the laser that pointer can be useful as an alarm signal. The beam thickness can be flexibly adjusted and different operating modes are available. As a precautionary measure, it's recommended to wear protective goggles and keep children away from the device. Yeah, that that's... Whoa, yeah, that is some serious stuff. Do you remember that in the French taxi movies, the main character hid his license plate from the police? Now this is the coolest one. The variety one. This of these systems in real life is astonishing. Is For example, one. this is a magnetic system to hide part of the license plate and avoid getting a ticket. To hide effectively, says a review, it's enough to cover up two symbols. And manufacturers are very inventive. For example, they have created these metal sheets. Many magnet models are the perfect thickness to fit behind the license plate frame. And of course, they can be used with a remote control. The price is around $33. But then once... Are more similar to those wait, 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 wait. So they... once you drop the leaf or whatever it is that you're using to cover that letter within your license plate, then don't you have to buy another leaf or, you know. We allow you to cover the number with a curtain or replace one plate with another. Now that's very easy cool to install. One. In some cases, you only need 15 minutes and are not very expensive. On some websites, they're available for $50. A cool gadget until you get caught, reads one user's apt review. Yeah. That's pretty cool though. That's Another cool. system for vehicle owners, strobe lights, like those used by the police. The characteristic red and blue lights are available in different versions, usually powered from the cigarette lighter socket. Depending on the number of diodes and settings, the price changes. For example, a variant with four diodes will cost you $30. Interestingly, mm. many dealers have a rather original approach to customers. One promises a family atmosphere of warmth and romance. Another emphasizes all-weather safety for drivers and pedestrians and offers a version that has up to 26 lighting modes, making it also suitable for municipal services. That's pretty cool. You use something like this here in the US, you will probably just get a ticket or even jail time for mimicking police vehicle, I guess. Last but not least, we have a compact computer 
which some websites have labeled as the Raspberry Pi killer. Already in 2019, Raspberry Pi sales hovered around 30 million units, and it's still unclear whether the Pocket chip will reach that figure. For about $50 to $60, the manufacturers offer 512 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of storage, a 1 gigahertz processor, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a USB port, and an AV output that can That's be used cool. for a TV. The device runs on Linux and is fully portable. A battery, a keyboard, and a screen are part of the set. However, if you wish, you can buy the board separately for $9 and then modify it to suit your needs. Hmm. Hey, stop being lazy. It's time to use that brain of yours. Okay, anyways, uh, this video is a little... Uh, I was a little bit disappointed. I, I was really expecting a lot better gadgets, I guess, than the uh, majority of the things that I was... So, I mean, the license plate one was pretty interesting. I kind of liked that. The glasses, the spy camera glasses, I found that one's interesting. But the rest, they were all right. But honestly, I don't know if I would buy any of them. Really, so yeah, it was uh, it was an okay video. It was an okay video. I, it's definitely not what I expected. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And like I said, if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Unfortunately, this video was uh, mm, the title was just too much of a hype. The actual products, gadgets, they were not too surprising. Like I just did not find it that interesting. Majority of it, like I said. I did find an interesting few of them, but the rest are not really. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Salam. Peace out.